I want that smell so good. Hey everybody, happy Wednesday, May 30th. It is Flavors of Central Florida with my beautiful co-host, Maxine Earhart from Maxine's on Shine. And we have a guest, Renata Rabello. Hi. Did I say it right? Rabello. In English, yes. Oh gosh, <laughs> see, she's good. Uh, and she is with, oh, is that us? No, yeah, it's, it's okay, we're on it's live, right. it's live. It's she's with Retro Station, which I can't wait to hear more about. Uh, and she brought in some amazing smelling pizza that we have to talk about. So Brian Jacobs is on, who's also a chef. Hi, Hi Brian. Brian. Uh, let us know you can hear us and see us, which is great. We have the Citrus Club a little stressed out right now because they want this room. Uh, so I promise you we are gonna do this show and we are gonna promote the heck <laughs> no, we're not out of this stressed. beautiful- We're in the restaurant business. This I'm is nothing for us. I'm literally not stressed yet. about anything. <laughs> I told him to come on in. So there might be action um, going so on behind Look at all that. So you see all the love on there, Renata, that's coming? Yeah. It's all for you. Now, did you tell your friends to tune in today? Yeah, I told them. Okay. But, she did. Uh, we have a different time here. Oh, that's right. Brazil, so. She's from. Oh, true. So she, what so, time is it? And in Eddie Nichols on, right? Right now, one hour difference. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. All right. So give us your background, Renata. You have a great story. I posted your bio. I loved it. Um, and so tell us a little bit about you, because you actually have another name after Rebello. I saw it on the bio. Right? Uh, yeah, my name is Renata in Portuguese. Okay, Renata yes, Rabelo de Souza. In English, Renata Rabelo de Souza. But um, I am from Rio, Brazil, and um, what do you want to know about me? Everything. I want to so, know. So many okay, okay, let me start. Okay, she's going to um, I told you Maxine was going to take over. Well, no, no, I just meant I want to help. I, I want to help love everybody it. get No, started. you're the best she's about doing this. She's a little this. nervous. Her, her English just is her second language. So, um, actually, I have been following Retro Station uh, Instagram uh, because I recognized immediately our retro-ness. You guys and, look great. Actually. And and uh, of course, my husband really wishes that we could sell pizza at Maxine's, but it really requires a special high temperature oven, and it's difficult to do our menu and pizza Correct. unless we had a bigger kitchen and room for another oven, which we don't. Honey, see, I got it in there because people it. people are upset that we don't even have flatbreads, but they don't understand. What how, you don't have flatbreads? No, because it requires okay. another oven. Come on, we have a tiny kitchen. It's the size <laughs> of a closet. Anyway, so I've been following her. And then I had the opportunity to meet her at the Orlando Magazine Awards. Yes, she told me. And which very exciting. Now think about this. How long have you had the restaurant now? Two years and four Only months. two years in Kissimmee, and they got second place for best pizza, which you know, I'm, I'm gonna just tell you one little thing. Tell me. I see like best Chinese restaurants and best Italian restaurants and all that. And I think to myself, oh, I really want to drive there, but kind of always choose the one Correct. in That's my neighborhood. Correct. That's close, right? right? That might not be the best. But I am glad Orlando Magazine <laughs> has the category of best pizza because people, pizza lovers, will actually drive far to find you the best You got second pizza. for pizza now. Wait, yeah. I should read the bio, right? I read enough to be dangerous. <laughs> Hello. I'm Ted, by the way. Hey, so everyone. we met at the, at the awards at Reyes. And actually, actually, I met her. And I introduced myself to her, and I was jumping in front of her because I was so excited about it. Oh, We've been following each other. sweet? Yeah. But that pizza smells look so at good. Look she's gorgeous. I know. you. Oh, look. We're all going to love on each other today. It's one of those days. <laughs> uh, but here's the great thing about the pizza. I didn't realize the history behind why at a Brazilian restaurant, at a restaurant, you would have pizza. So tell them the history because we talked about that before the show. Yeah, actually, it is not a Brazilian restaurant. We try to keep it Italian, uh, 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 Amer um, Italian in American way. Let's say this; it's easier. And we do pizzas, but you know what? Brazil has a really good pizza because we have a lot of Italian. Like I am half Italian and half Brazilian also. And why is that? You were telling me the history. Why are there so many Italians in Brazil? Because of the First World War, lots of Italians went to Brazil, like uh, lots of people from all over the world. You said and it's the second highest Japanese population, or the outside the of Japan. The, the biggest oh, Japanese. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Uh, so your Japan. food yeah. down in Brazil is just, I'm starving. Look, Wyatt says I'm hungry. <laughs> Me too. I'm like sitting here drooling over that pizza that's not mine. Yeah, we have <laughs> food from all, all over the world. She did. <laughs> I know one is for Kurt. I know. Honey, sorry. you're very lucky. Actually, I brought three pizzas. Oh, well, see, there yeah. you go. And I saw that. I saw the picture. So she showed me a, a picture of her friend who's a German pastry chef. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was talking about but that pizza looked amazing. Our chef is a German pastry chef, George Vogelbacher. Oh, 
Nice. Okay, so a little bit more. All right, so you, sorry. Back uh, to you, Renata. It's okay. okay. Um, so back to I you, find back it back very romantic, too, that she met her husband and married him within two months. Yeah. And he was, uh, he had his Actually, master's degree in psychology. I married him in two months, but he married me like two years later. But. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know how that How happens. did that happen? <laughs> well, because I met, I, I married him since the day I moved to his house. He, yes. He, he married me the day he signed the paper. <laughs> I know that. I do that. I Any man I ever lived you. with, I considered a husband too. <laughs> yeah, he's a little well, bit crazy. Well, we are a pain in the you know. Dudes are, dudes are crazy. <laughs> so then, but he, here he is, the psychologist. They get married. He's a teacher. And they decide to open up a rockabilly bar. Yeah, why rockabilly? Like, what, what was the thought process there? Uh, when I met her, him, uh, he told me the thing he loves the most is rockabilly. And I didn't know what rockabilly means, so... I, I don't think a lot of people here know what rockabilly is. That's like Bill yeah. Haley in the comments. Yes. Yeah, 50s okay, you guys style music. Yeah, 50 style and music. And actually, that's the com that's how they named their bar, as in tribute to him. Rock oh, yeah, Around that, the Clock. Rock yeah. Around... Oh, we said it, right. You said it yeah. right this time. Yeah. I was trying to say it earlier. Rock Around the Clock. And I went to the library to try to understand what rockabilly was. And then I, when I arrived I at the you. library, I saw... Oh, it's Elvis. I love Elvis. So, yeah. okay. It is Elvis. Easy. You're right. Who missed So thought? they had this really cool place where you can everybody's dancing in 1950s clothing Brazilian yeah. style uh, and uh, you can I, I would highly recommend going on YouTube and checking out some of the videos it's very American looking until they start interviewing everybody yeah and then you're like oh they're Venezuela. Also, you want to, <laughs> you guys, you talked about how you guys start eating later than Americans. So Maxine asked, asked a great question earlier, and I'll let her finish it, about how the difference you put in your bio, uh, one of the challenges was trying to get used to how Americans eat and how Americans think of dining out at a restaurant. Yeah, it, it is, you know, um, Move. You can give us a hard time. I give you total, total... Well, wait, wait, wait. We're jumping around. Okay. We're at the clock rock bar. <laughs> that was in 2004. Here she's bringing it all to back. What? To what year? 2004 to... Uh, we sold two years ago. Okay. And then they just, they wanted they some, another here. challenge. Mm -hmm. They wanted something else. They wanted to move to the United States. They, they chose Orlando because of the weather and because uh, Renata would like to eventually get involved in the tourism industry. Yeah. So they opened up this place. And what was the name of it before? Maybe somebody watching knows. Uh, Little Italiano or something so like that. So what, where in Kissimmee is it? In front of Old Town. Oh, oh, yeah, perfect sure. Perfect for you. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Oh, okay. All right. So that's now, great. And not far from celebration. Which and is she was explaining far. how the cultural differences, it's not only culture and language, but the behavior of Americans are different. So now, all right, now we're up to speed. Yeah, Thank you, because I, I messed that up so much. I got Thank here. God you did. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, everything is different. So uh, we had to learn um, a new language, a new culture, a new behavior. Like Americans eat like 5.30 to dinner. What is that? Why do we eat so early? Because we get off work at I 5 o'clock and we're starving. I have Not no me. Idea. Have a cocktail. Relax. <laughs> well, 5 o'clock is cocktail. And what is, or 10 a.m. It depends what, on What is schedule. super funny, you know, is when, because normally I work as a server at my restaurant, so where I had to understand, learn a lot of things. Like when I approach the table, I ask what they want to drink. And then I come with the drinks. And then I ask what they want to eat. And then I bring the food, and then I ask what they want to dessert. And if they don't want anything, I just give them the. the, the All right. So why food. is it, how is that? And Francesco's on. Hey, Francesco. Hi, Francesco. How is that different from Brazilian culture, for example? Like, because you all, in, I, I can attest to this European wise. Mm -hmm. You all, everybody enjoys their meal. It's actually an experience rather than something you have to get through. Right. Uh, it's not just to get the meal, get fed, get out. It's actually an experience where you enjoy each other's company. It's a longer process. And here, if it's like 30 minutes and they haven't gotten their food and dessert, their coffee they and their check, forget it, it's yeah. over. Oh, oh, no, you have to serve. They have to have a drink in their hand within five minutes or they'll be very upset. I mean, on alcohol I get, but we'll get back to that in a minute. <laughs> and by the way, they, uh, uh, customers have a different clock uh, that, like I, I, oh, uh, than, totally. uh, than we do. For instance, we have like what's called the real time. Like when you walk in the door of my restaurant, I start counting 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. And I see, and I get to you by the 13th second, I say, welcome. And they go, you know, we've been standing here five minutes. 
And I go, so one minute is like five minutes We're in, horrible in, people. The, in really American are. time. Americans are, okay, so but but I, you're being I, kind. So she loves Americans. We want to. We do, yeah, by the way. I'm just really saying it. But when you're hungry, we all know it's a different, though. We see it's a different those inner people. clock. I think maybe because I'm in a tourist area, so people already did, they already had fun together. So now it's just time to eat. Yes. And maybe, you're hungry. It. maybe it is. But I would think that because you're in a tourist area, you would attract more Europeans, more Asians that oh, want to have, sit and relax. I have people from all over the world, but 70% uh, of my customers are Americans. Interesting. Yeah. And so we and sit down. I, I have to let you know you guys are so nice. You know, oh, that's right. So you did say that. So tell us the difference. Yeah, it's not that, that they're rude, it's just they're hungry. That's right. Yeah. They, want, it's not, they want to be it's not, fed she's right. She's not saying they're not now. lying. They just, it's just a different. Style Correct. of going out Correct. to eat, not not the well, thing. When I arrived here, my my English, what is not good, was really bad. Your you English know? is so good, by the I way. Know. Actually, so, really. Okay. Thank you. But it was really, really. Trust me. You know, now I can understand quite everything. But uh, she sometimes might pretend I not to understand. That's the best. Sometimes I just guess and okay, and pray, you know, to have a, a good guess. But uh, at the beginning, I couldn't understand. So almost all the time, I had to tell them, "Listen, I'm I apologize, but I'm learning the language. Could you repeat this for me?" Because I remember once the customer asked me for a pizza without sauce. And I understood that sausage pizza. <laughs> oh, okay. That's honest. That's a, that's an honest mistake. <laughs> Look, somebody just said you're crazy cute. cute. Love the accent. Love Good accent. stuff. Thank Isn't you. she awesome? All right. So, what's your favorite thing to cook? There is it. Are you strictly pizza? But you were talking about pasta which earlier, is Italian. which mm -hmm. is Italian. Italian restaurant. So, um, what's your favorite dish on the menu? Oh, uh, as pasta, my favorite one, uh, I have two favorites. Okay, ones. give them two. I, I have like the lasagna. I really like our lasagna. And I have... The now, is that your recipe, chef's recipe? Yes. Yes, okay, I like And it. the, the um, mushroom truffle <laughs> pasta. And uh, this is Ooh, good. because oh. this this recipe uh, we used to have that. is from my f my my husband's family in Italy, uh -huh. and we do exactly the way they told us to oh. make. Oh, that's cool. Oh, if we have to go. Okay, it we have good. to go. Yeah. You don't have a car, so I'll pick you up. Right now, <laughs> I have to lift everywhere. God bless America. Um, and I count sometimes on my friends and family to get me there, and today was not one of those days. It's Stacey, okay. It's all right. It happens. Uh, but you guys both got here, and I'm glad, and we're all drinking, so we're cool. And uh, can I say something? Uh, you can, is oh, this, this is your, your show. show. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Great. Uh, you asked me earlier uh, about what's the difference about, uh, between the Brazilian and the American pizza, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I'm here because of the pizza. So, um, in, in my case, in, in, at Retro Station, the difference of the dough is none. Because I use the same dough, it's New York style dough. Mm -hmm. My husband is the one, the only one who makes it. Hi, Janet! Hi, Janet! She likes the Portuguese pizza. <laughs> yeah, she loves it. She's, she's, she's my... Uh, Teacher, uh, teacher, mentor. Teacher, mentor. No, no, I'm the teacher. I'm her oh, teacher. Oh, you're the mentor. Okay. You're her teacher. I teach her how to dance. Okay. Oh. You teach yeah. her how to dance. I, I like it. I saw. Did you? They're <coughs> all jitterbug. Jitterbug. In her old, in her it's, other restaurant. It's retro station, Tony. Yeah. Retro station. Retro we'll station. post it at the end. Yes. Too. We all need to go. So all right, I'm so gonna tell come us. back to the pizza. All right, back. So to the dough, <laughs> the dough is the same. <laughs> Can't make it up. <laughs> the dough is the same. I'm nervous. Uh, the dough is the same, uh, but um, the sauce is the same. The cheese, almost everything is the same. The difference is American pizza has way more sauce, not sausage, <laughs> sauce, and yeah. way less cheese. And the Brazilian pizza has way less sauce and super a lot of cheese. Uh, lots of cheese. Now, what cheese yeah. do you? Oh boy, what, they what love cheese, cheese Brazilians, in America. What, what do you use? What's your cheese that you use? A mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. But, uh, I tried to do and that then time. I have only four Brazilian pizza. That's why I told you it's not a Brazilian restaurant, it's an Italian restaurant. But because I'm Brazilian, everybody asks me, why don't you have any kind of Brazilian thing? So I put four Brazilian pizzas. And then the toppings are imported. I have nice. the Portuguese ones that Janet loves. Um, I have the Calabresa <coughs> one, it's a smoked pork sausage. Yum. Uh, I have the four cheese one and the chicken catupiry. The both are made with catupiry. Say what it is again, a... what does that mean? She's talking dirty. <laughs> catupiry is a 
kind of. It's been a long day. <laughs> Catapiri is like I know kind how to get to Ted now. I just right. talk Italian food. Just pretend. I don't know where going. What is that? We'll just start eating dishes. It's a Brazilian kind of cheese. It's like um, uh, cream cheese, but way heavier, and it's it's good. It's really good. So, what were the other awards, by the way, that you won? Uh, uh, there was play, you, said second, it was, you said there was second it was magical. place uh, pizza and second place late night dinner. Oh, late night. Think about this. Orlando Magazine, she won second place late night. And late it's in Kissimmee. Night. So, so you have a lot of fans. Yeah. And what define late night? Is that six thirty for no, us no, no. Americans? No, no, no. For Americans, it's super late. <laughs> that usually means midnight. Like midnight, yeah. yeah. I love that. Because I have people so we can make from the drive the... to Kissimmee. Maybe right. we should Uber. But we should definitely Uber. <laughs> Uber. 100%. Yeah. Uh, we, we, I, I sell caipirinha, so you should go Wilbur. Um, you do? That is one of my favorite drinks of all time. Uh, what is it? What is you it? hadn't mind, so I haven't had it. I don't even so know what it is. Jilson, a Jilson's a friend of mine. Do you know Jilson? It's a small community, a Brazilian community. Okay. Anyway, he makes them. So, oh, she's giving me the look, which I love. All right, so that means I have to go out there and I have to try that drink because... Well, what is it? Oh, I'll let her tell you because I can't even say it. It's cap I mean, caprini. Caipirinha. Hey, there you go. Stop <laughs> is it Capari? No, no, no. no, no. What is it? I'm gonna make for you. Well, what is it? What's is it rum? Is it tequila? Is it vodka? I have. I don't. I couldn't tell we you. I think it's wrong, right? We can make the same almost. Really? Yeah. <laughs> now I'm really. <laughs> we can make it with anything. It's, no, I'm That's trying to awesome. Google it. I'll be can't it spell is, it. Now. It's it such a great drink, but boy, it will not. Hey, Tyler, <laughs> it will not <laughs> help you on your behind. Mm. Uh, but it's there's muddled in it. it. It takes a lot of work and a lot of love. And oh, it's a delicious, right. amazing drink. Hey, well, Bob, I'm very adventurous, so I'll try it. Me too. Okay. You're going to love it. Okay. It's absolutely okay. amazing. Well, we're so excited to have you here. And, and I'm, I'm going to bring you back to Maxine's after you leave here today. Okay. Yeah. So we can uh, say hi to the guys. Because she's also friends with our chef. Uh, with, um, He's one of Fabiano. my angels, I was oh, telling oh, you. Yeah, so talk about the angels. I love this story. So right before you got here, Maxine... Um, she was talking about how she's had so many angels in her life since she's been here that have helped her in her business, introduced her to people, uh, getting the right people in front of her. So talk a little bit about that, Renata. Yeah, uh, the most difficult part about moving your life and opening a restaurant because you want a challenge is not only the challenge, uh, it is about you don't have friends you don't know anyone and you don't so have just you and a your husband moved here by yourself yeah we, ready to open we up a restaurant have even wow. one friend here wow, it is right? so difficult just living here in orlando i can't imagine yeah, kurt and i just packing up and yeah. moving no, to, another, to country another country and trying to open a restaurant yeah no oh. so and then I, winning awards two years later i know see the pizza i'm starving <laughs> it's gotta be really good <laughs> so um what I did at the beginning was I knocked the door of other Brazilian restaurant owners because I couldn't speak English. So I knocked <laughs> their doors and I asked them like, is really this difficult? So they were super welcoming with me. They helped me a lot. They gave me tips about everything and they necessarily, they, they helped me with everything. They, nice. they, they touched me. That's amazing. Teaching pass. I don't know how to. And say remember, that. we talked about this before. How people think we're competitive, but no, we really no, there's such a loving spirit. Our, our restaurant very community. Very much. We all so. work so hard. And, and you know what? I didn't other. know that till we started doing the show. I, I had no idea, honestly. Yeah. And because everybody's kind of in the same boat. Yes. They're small restaurants, yeah. small to medium restaurants. And we to work hard, long way. hours, so we're yes, trying to help each other. Cut uh, twenty minutes here or there. Correct. Correct. Yeah, and and everybody helped me a lot. So. Fabiano, your chef, mm -hmm. uh, is one of those, those person who helped me, gave me tips about what to do, how to advertise. And then when I started to speak a little bit better English, uh, then I knocked the door of Americans and they started it. to help me too, okay. Okay. you know. So I am blessed because everybody helped me. and. I think that's why I won this prize and that's why I won the prize of the community with actually it was because if it wasn't a Brazilian friend who who told me to go to the school and knock the door and sponsor the school I wouldn't get the the awards of the school also so But think about second place in pizza for 
the for whole, this whole for, area, the for whole Central Florida. Area. I don't even. I don't know who got first. Uh, uh, Pizza, Pizza Bruno. Bruno. Which, is Which I have to get over there. Okay, I'm so there. Week. I, I want to tell you. There. Here's the great thing about Pizza Bruno. Just real quick, they have a Calabrese. I'm part Calabresean. Is that the right word? <laughs> <laughs> that is not the right word. Um, I'm Italian. Yeah. Um, they have a great pizza, okay. and they have a crazy delivery system. Oh. Uh, you can't call. You have to use like there's no phones. They don't answer the phones. But here's the thing: the, the fact that you got that in such a short period of time is a testament to how amazing your pizza and your is, following is. Which going. is the fact that that pizza is sitting behind me in a red box right now, <laughs> and I haven't you can had see any. It right over you can people. kind of <laughs> see it. Um, when don't she brought that in, I'm like, are you insane? You? Are we allowed to open oh, it? we're totally allowed to open. Oh, well, it. Then, I don't know if we're allowed, but God bless it. Well, then we should show it on camera. Well, guys, you know, you made me to go to a restaurant with this pizza bag today and everybody was looking at me like what are you doing? I know imagine she walks into the citrus club with she like did, a so big, <gasps> the manager Hi, I'm here with Jeff the pizza. Jump came and got me and I thought oh god is she dressed in a tank top here what we a go. Difference. and so um how am I gonna do this and so she uh he comes up and he, he goes whatever she has smells delicious uh, so no we were no, originally we're, gonna have the show at Maxine's that's why I told her it would Ted's be okay to bring the again. pizza it's okay I'm used to it now oh my there it is I told you I told you she was gonna say it god bless it it's my, are you kidding my husband goes to bed at night at 11 o'clock and tells me this is what's happening tomorrow morning that's not and then happening. I wake up the next morning he goes no this is what this is not happening morning, so I'm kind of used happening. to it six it's years now it's a dude now. thing it's terrible <laughs> uh, well but, I know everybody thinking I'm I Retro Station has a really cute delivery woman because <laughs> I walked all downtown with a pizza bag today. Nice. <laughs> she got here early. Oh, talk about your real talk about your pasta because we talked a little bit about how um, Americans, um, you know, we not vote, all Americans. No, but I'm I'm going to say my Francesco's opinion. Francesco's on, is, and he knows this that's is not, not Renata's true. opinion. This is mine. So when I see things like Olive Garden, no offense, Darden. Uh, number one Italian in Orlando, or number two, I just literally want to scream. Well, they're so, bigger restaurants. They have more people. She's voting. being kind. I don't have to be kind, <laughs> um, and it makes me crazy. So, Americans, you were saying that you have a way that you like pasta, and we have a way that we tend to like pasta. What's the difference? Um, Americans prefer the pasta more overcooked. So... Meaning, like you were saying, Maxine, that means like... Sure, no, she used the word soggy. She's, she she did. She's being polite now. So overcooked <laughs> I, I learned a new means, word. Wait, so explain that. Tougher, <laughs> but explain al dente, because I, don't, I think a lot of people see that and they think, oh, that's so sweet. Wait, I think it's no the idea. difference between eight minutes and 11 minutes. Maybe 12 minutes? <laughs> I don't know what we're, I have no idea what we're, we're talking, talking about. about. The oh, we're talking about the cooking Because when you have uh, pasta on your menu, you always have to dedicate a burner with boiling water in your kitchen. Yeah. You have to be ready. I, I boiled water once in the last 27 years, so <laughs> we cannot rely on me for anything to do with boiling water. No. Uh, it's okay. About the pastas, there are professionals for this. About the pastas, I have a chef. He's from Le Cordon Bleu, Chef Renaud. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Oh. nice. And he's my teddy bear because he's big, he's nice to... I saw him. pictures. <laughs> he's so Looks amazing. Nice. And he's with us since... Um, he, he, he was studying at the Le Cordon Bleu, and we are trying to help each other, and he's which, just amazing. Which, uh, the, but the school closed, right? Closed, closed. yeah. He, he was, was on the last, yeah, the he last was probably one of the last wow. graduates, yeah. yeah. Wow. So that's cool, though. So it's it's a different way that the pasta And he's American, so I try to <laughs> Listen, we're, have everything. Listen, Maxine and I are here way. representing the Americans, and we can tell you that we I would prefer to understand and learn um, what I should know rather than eat the stupid ways that I might have eaten before. So it's not like everybody wants, like John Wilde or somebody was joking earlier that they need pepperoni with extra cheese on their pizza. Um, I'm not exactly sure husband. that's, yeah, I'm not exactly sure that's what we're talking about on these pizzas. But um, not everybody wants that. People are adventurous. I think our yeah. city, our town is very adventurous. They want to try We're new becoming things. more of a melting pot. We definitely Everybody are. wants the warm weather. Yes. So they're coming yes. to Florida. I mean, we're, we're, what we read recently, we're the fourth well, you know, you're in the real estate Oh, market. my mother-in-law's here. Oh, your mother-in-law. Hi, oh, Stella. Hi, Stella. <laughs> Stella. Stella Maria Garby. By the way, if anybody's wondering why I keep putting my head up like this, it's because I'm wearing progressive lenses, so I can only read. <laughs> we're, and we're back. Sorry, it happens. 
But I can only read down here, so I keep going like this to read. So I'm like, I <laughs> thought it was because, you, like me, no, I want no. you have no neck fat. I do. It's like so can't I can't read. The... Yeah, I can't. I love it. Maybe I should fix it. Oh, I have can all I... comments on my face here, so there's no problem. Watching. You look beautiful. Okay. She's the best. Look, everybody's saying how much they love you. All right, so uh... wait, wait, wait. I just want. Wait, I want to show this just for a second. Yeah. Can, this, can you see this? Is it... This was her club in Sao Paulo. I just wanted to show this a little bit because I thought it was like super cool that you actually have, you know, wait, let's see. Well, this is all interviews, but there's like, they had like, I just love the fact that they had all this dancing. Like, yeah, I saw her place. Now do you have I that in love, the current place? I wish place? There was a place like this in Orlando. We, we don't. Are you thinking of? Are you thinking of bringing a, bringing it back? I had sometimes events and I uh, and I danced. I had uh, in at retro station. I see lessons also. in my future. You yeah. see. I was considering <laughs> taking uh, the pole lessons with Roxy, but I think I'm going to be more. I think that's it. a whole other show. <laughs> well, I think yeah, sixteen-year-old take. No, I should take the pole <laughs> lessons with Roxy. I think that's how a to show. dancing celebration just say. But I think I'm more, I think this is more my Janet style. says Renata and her husband give rockabilly dance lessons. Oh! Yeah, a celebration Very cool. at Serendipity School. Okay, so you were saying your future, though, you want to see yourself involved in more tourism and you want to be involved with Disney. So what, how, where are you going to make that path? How are you going to do this? Like, what's your plan for that? Um, actually, I'm gonna start to work at Disney next week. Oh, you are! No way! You're yeah. gonna, oh my god, I can't even imagine getting another job. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna sleep. Well, yeah, exactly. But you can I sleep need... when you're dead. That's so what are you going to be doing? Process. What are you I, doing? I, I'm going to be hostess in a restaurant because I really want to be in a Which restaurant. One? Which them. one? Which uh, one? They can put me whenever, uh, whatever they want, but at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Nice. Really? I love all the okay. restaurants there. Wow. Phenomenal. Because, uh, so you're gonna, are you going to work a 40-hour week? Part-time? No, just part-time. Okay. They're part-time. So you're going to be learning about Disney yeah. and their and restaurant industry. And learning about how, oh, they, how, they, That's how very they, smart, they do actually. with their well, customers. It, I, I think that will be really good to learn more things. Well, and I used to work in Alfredo's in Epcot Center, the Italian mm -hmm. restaurant, as a hostess as well. You did? Oh, well, I was actually not a hostess. I was a... Wait, I was a where's that one? It's in uh, Epcot. It the it's back? the Italian restaurant. At the very back yeah. or the and one on the left? I was a customer no. service. They closed uh, Alfredo's. Oh, they, they did? did? Yeah, yeah, I think they did. Years ago, unfortunately. Well, this was, was in amazing. the 90s, but I was a customer service spokesmodel. Of course mm -hmm. you Now, this is actually a great story. <laughs> Alfredo's was getting ready to sign another 10-year contract with Disney, and they didn't want any complaints to go to Disney. So they were sneaky. They hired me. I got to park right behind the building and wear my own suits with a little Disney thing, um, name badge. And so when people complained, they thought they were complaining to Disney. Nice. And then I would take care of everything and give them things for free or soothe the, you know, their souls, make them feel better so that no complaints went so they could sign their 10-year contract. And I did such a good job that they kept me on for a whole year. That's why you're so patient at Maxine. Well, this is, was good training, though. I for think me it is good to training. what I do now. No, it's a lot. I think yeah. what you all. I had a. Um, so it'll be great for you to host this. I think it's the same. Good, it's it's the good same experience. Yeah. It's yeah. good experience. All right, so um, mm -hmm. we are going to give all of Renata's contact information. See this? How fast it goes, right? Is it You're already? Nervous. Oh no, we should let her talk a little bit more about her husband. Tell us about your husband. Oh yeah, give us your oh, husband. Oh, he's handsome. Oh, he's handsome. <laughs> That's it. What's his yeah. name? Giuliano. Of course, Giulia. Yeah. So he's going to be running the restaurant. Yeah, he's there. Somebody, somebody has to work. <laughs> <laughs> he's there, and I'm here chilling. Listen, <laughs> she came in and she get, she read the. I love it. She said, "No, that's not the wine I want. Nope, not that one either." Hi, Alfredo. <laughs> Hello, Alfredo. Hi, See, people are saying they they're sending you love, and yeah. obviously you have a love and a passion for what you do, and that comes out. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're gonna share My all of your information. Here. See, I saw her. Hi, Graziella. Can I, can now are they watching? Graziella. So where is she right Graziella. now? Where is she watching from? She's from Brazil. She's well, watching look, from like Brazil. Look, you're world famous, Ted. I, I am not world famous. <laughs> only in my own our mind. <laughs> only, in, in, only in our own mind. You're world famous. So thank you for watching the flavors of Central Florida. Yes. Ted and I will continue to bring you Hi, fascinating, interesting people. Look at this. And oh, this is my angel from Celebration Bradley. Bradley. Oh. Hi, Bradley. <laughs> Any parting words of wisdom? Anything you want to share with What's them? What's the last thing you want to tell everybody? What do you want to tell them? Visit Retro Station, and Please. we are going to give you all of the information, I promise. 
Um, you were amazing, Renata. See, so it goes by fast, Oh, we right? never took the pizza yeah. out of the box. No. All right, sorry, Later, people, but we people. are going to do that we right now. We love you right now. <laughs> I'm starving. We can post photos. Uh, Bradley says, oh, we'll post photos. True. Do whatever Renata says. Oh, my God, that is <laughs> Thank perfect. you, everybody, for tuning we love you guys. in. Every Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Ted and I really appreciate it. We do. And we have more surprises coming. So let's Lots go to Maxine's. <laughs> oh, believe me, going. I'll be there in an hour. We're actually in, uh, uh, representative United States Congressman Darren Soto. I will love be Darren at Maxine's Soto. today. I'm doing nice. a little meet and greet with his constituents. Nice. So it's kind of hard. I'm trying to figure out what do I wear on the TED show to the to a you U.S. Look congressman's. Uh, um, Listen, Darren's gonna love it. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to the Stardust tonight, their 10 year anniversary. Oh, Stardust, that's a fun I had to, I had to find an outfit to wear to all three places. This oh is my not God. easy, people. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Renata, thank this you. This is why so I need much. to be dressed. All right, we love you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Peace out. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye, okay? everybody. Love Bye. you. Love you. Thank you.